Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. Recently, Meta has launched its next version of Llama which is Llama 3.1. So they have also launched their 405 billion model which is pretty huge and works as good as the GPT models. So in this video, let's understand how we can access this Meta's Llama 3.1 model, maybe the 8 billion version using Grok API and also let's see how we can integrate it with Langchain. So these are all the topics that we will discuss in today's video. And the good thing about this is uh, Grok kind of provides a free tier access to its API and also there is like a paid version. So we can just go with the free version in order to access these models, build some systems out of this. So that will be the agenda for today's video. So let's see how we can access this Llama 3.1 point one model and in the subsequent videos we can discuss how we can use this uh, open source LLM that is Llama 3.1 for tasks like RAG and other purposes okay so let's get started so I'll open my uh, Google collaboratory so the first thing that we need to do here is install grok so for this I'm going to go to Google and search grok PYPA to install uh, grok's library grok's python library so I'll copy this grok uh, 0.9.0 version and do a pip install okay so pip install grok 0.9.0 so you can just uh, connect to a CPU environment. GPU is not necessary as we are not, you know, uh, loading the model. So we are just like using the uh, API from Grok. So it's it's not necessary as GPU environment is not necessary. So this has installed the Grok library. So the next thing that we have to do is uh, get Grok API key. So similar to OpenAI's API key, we need to get uh, the Grok's API key. So for that, you can go to Google and search Grok, and here go to this grok as fast AI inference and the other thing about grok is that it's kind of pretty fast in uh, AI inference so let's say that you are loading this uh, LLMs from hugging phase or other sites so compared to those things grok kind of provides this faster inference from this LLM so that's one of the USP that grok provides so I'll go to this uh, grok.com so here you would need to sign up with an account so here I've already signed up with an account so you can do that so it should be simple so you can sign up with your uh, Google account so here you can try the different models that they have uh, like in a chatbot interface but we can also integrate their apis in our uh, you know apps and so on so for that go to this grok cloud which says developer playground so i'll click this grok cloud and in that you will see this api keys so here you can create a, a new api key and maybe i'll just call this as uh, grok getting started or maybe I'll name this as Llama 3.1 because that's what we are doing here, right? So I'll submit it and this will show my API key. So I copy this and now we are going to store this API key in our, uh, you know, uh, environment variables. So here I'll import these two things. So I'll say import OS and after that I'll say OS.environ and the environment variable in which we need to store this uh, grok api key is grok underscore api underscore key so this shouldn't change because when we call the grok client it will look for the api key in this particular environment variable and within the codes paste your uh, api key this is not a recommended way the other approach to do this is you can save this uh, api key in your environment file or in a config.json so that your api key is not like kind of openly present in your code so just for demonstration i'm doing this but you can always create a env file or a config.json and save it there so i'll run this now let's import grok so i'll say from grok import grok so g should be uppercase here so we are importing this particular uh, module so g is in caps and now i'll say client is equal to grok okay so let's run this so this is the grok client and we can send the uh, you know questions or the user prompts to this and we can get a response from there so now we can say response is equal to client dot chat dot completions just like we used to do in the open ai library so you can say client dot chat dot completions dot create and within this parenthesis you can pass your messages so i'll say messages is equal to so you you have to create a list and within this list we need to have this dictionary so i'll say role is user so we are mentioning here like what's the role is whether it's it's you know the user's question or it's the assistance response and the corresponding content 
or rather you can also have this role as system where you can say what the LLM needs to do. So we have done this in, in you know, accessing GPT uh, APIs. So in the content, I'm going to say, give me the first 20 terms of Fibonacci series. So this is like from one of the tutorial videos in the Grog documentation. So it's like nothing complex here. Okay, so this is the question that we are asking. So after that, so again, if you want to add more questions and answer, you can do that here as well. Kind of work as like a few short examples. And you can also create uh, another line like this as roll of system and, and say that you are a helpful assistant and so on. So that's about it. So next, the other parameter that we have to pass within this client.chat completions.create is model so model is equal to let's say so in this grok cloud right so in the documentation you can see the list of models that that's present here so in the documentation you have this models right so here you have this mod uh, llama 3.1405 billion i think so the llama 3.4405 billion which is the largest open source model it's available only for paying users but we don't have that so we can either use the 70 billion version or 8 billion but we can go with this 8 billion for now so here you need to copy this model id not this name but this model id so we have this llama 3.18 billion instance and we also have this llama 3.170 billion versatile which is like a pretty large model so here I'll copy this model ID and paste it here okay so the next thing that we have to do is I'll just yeah so now we can oh okay there is a mistake over here so this model should be present within this thing Right. So now this is all good. So let's let's understand this. So we have this response where uh, the LLM will give a response and that will be stored in this variable called as response. And we are calling this client, which is grok chat completions dot create role users question. So give me the first 20 terms of Fibonacci series and the model that we are going to use is Lama 3.1. So if you want to use a different model also, you can like uh, use that one. So we have this Mistral, uh, Mistral 8 uh, into you know, 7 billion version, Gemma 7 billion and so on. So you can use that as well. So for now, we are interested in Llama 3.1. So I'll run this. So this will give us this response and you can see the code executor like pretty quick in within like two or three seconds. So that's the, you know, interesting thing about Grog APIs. So now you can just type in this response to look how your uh, response is looking like. So I'll run this. So this is this entire chat completion uh, output and we have to extract the output from here. So this is the output that you are seeing. So we have this content, right? The Fibonacci series is a series of numbers and so on. So in order to access that particular output, we can say generated text or let me call this as output maybe. So let's say output is equal to response dot choices of zero. So this is like accessing this choices uh, first value and, and accessing the content. So you can say choices of zero dot message which is this particular thing message dot content so this is where our final output is stored and then you can again print your output and see it so this would give you the fibonacci series so we have 0 1 1 2 3 and so on so this is how you can access llama 3.1 from there so you can just even you can integrate this with the, with the chat bot and, and get a response and so on so this is how you can access llama 3.1 with croc but the other thing that we are going to do is how we can integrate this with langchain so there is a langchain grok integrated library version so we are going to use that so that we can use that conveniently when we are building like let's say rag graph rag or other applications so that's important so maybe here i'll create a text cell and call this as accessing llama 3.1 from grok so this is what we are doing here and i'll create another text cell below but this is for langchain grok okay 
So for this, we need to install that corresponding library for which you can search Langchain Grok PYPA. So search it in Google and you will see this Langchain Grok and you can copy this along with the version number or you can just do a simple pip install. So I'll say pip install Grok Langchain Grok 0.1.6. So let's run this. Right, so even this Langchain Grok will look for the API key, Grok API key in this environment variable. So here we have already done that. So we don't need to repeat that step, but I'll just do it anyway because someone might be interested in this part of the code and they won't be able to understand that we have done this. So again, as I said, this is not required the second time, but just for a code structure, I'll just like include this again. So here I'll say uh, import OS. And let's store this in the environment variable. And then let's import this grok from langchain. So I can say from langchain underscore grok import chat grok, which is the chat based model. So you can use that. And then I'll say LLM is equal to chat grok. And then you need to put in your model name and the temperature and other parameters that you need. So here I'll say model is equal to the same uh, Llama 3.18 billion instant version. So this is what we are working on. So let me put it over here. And then we can use some parameters like temperature, which kind of dictates how random your answer and questions are. So temperature is equal to let's say zero so this means like for a, for the same question it's going to give you almost the same answer if the temperature value is close to one then the answer is going to be random for a particular question so that's about it so i think i've explained it several times but yeah that's the use so this is how we can use load this llm but there are also other hyper parameters that you can look into so now we are loading this chat grok but this is not from the grok library but from langchain grok and then i can just say response is equal to llm dot invoke so this will invoke the llm which is grok uh, llama 3.1 in this case so here again you can ask probably the same question so you know or i mean you can ask any questions but i'll just stick to this and ask this particular question alone i'll run this and again you can print the entire response and see and uh, for getting this like it, it's simple in this case so it's, it's just like response dot content so here you can just say output is equal to response dot content and finally you can print your output right so now we are seeing this output so this is how you can access uh, llama 3.1 from grok but in the case of you know langchain grok library so that this can be integrated easily with the langchain tools that we are building so let's say that you are building an agentic uh, framework application or a simple drag where you are kind of passing a document uh, doing a question answering thing so all this case you can use this particular library so i'll just give you a quick recap of what we have done so the first step is going to grok cloud so from this uh, grok.com go to grok cloud and from there you can get your api keys once you sign up and there are also like uh, free limits that we can utilize so after that we need to install grok library and then we are storing this api key in this grok api key environment variable and importing grok from grok and then creating a grok client and then here you can pass the user's question along with the role and mention the model that you want to use and so on and we are getting a response and you can access this final uh, response using this choices zero message dot content and we are seeing the output and the other way to do this is you can inst install langchain grok and then you can again save this uh, environment variables not necessary to do this twice but this is like the step that we have to do so we are putting this in the environment variable of grok api key and then from langchain grok import chat grok so we are importing the chat based version of the grok llm where we need to load this llama 3.1 8 billion instant version temperature and so on and then we are invoking this and getting the output using this response dot content so this is how you can kind of access this uh, llama 3.1 and so on and this is like a pretty simple step so 
please try this out and you can also kind of look into the other larger models that you have so let's say this uh, you know llama 3.170 billion version or gamma uh, or, or any kind of models any kind of open source model okay so that is all from my side and i hope that this video is useful to you and i'll see you in the next upload thanks for watching